In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly add an inverse kinematic rig to an existing mesh. Here I have a leg and I want to add an inverse kinematic rig for animation to this leg. The first step is to press Shift A and create an armature of a single bone. Tab into edit mode. Even in edit mode, it is difficult to see the bone. So if I go to object, viewport display, and then I click in front, this is going to show this bone in front. Next, go ahead and select the entire bone, press G, and then move it up. Press R to rotate it to the right. We can type 90 to snap it in place, and then we can press S to scale it down. Press G to move it in place, and think about where that actual hip bone would be. It would be somewhere about here. Then select this part of the bone, press E to extrude down to the knee, then press E again, to extrude down to the ankle, press E, and then E one more time. Now we have all the bones we need for the actual rig, but we need some controller bones. Select where the ankle is, press E, and then Y to go straight out. Select the knee bone, press E, Y, and go straight out. These are going to be controller bones. So select this bone, press Option or Alt P, and clear the parent. Press G, Y to move it forward. This will be the ankle or foot main inverse kinematic control bone. Press Option or Alt P, clear the parent. Press G, Y to move it out. Now we're ready to go to pose mode to make sure all these bones are in the right position. Before we do that, we want to make sure that we are in the right spot left and right. If your original mesh was not in the very center of the screen, your bones may need to be moved right or left. But for now, let's go to pose mode. In order to set up the inverse kinematics, we simply need to select this bone, hold shift, select this bone, then press shift I, and then to active bone. Now we have the inverse kinematic rig. If I press G, it will move this rig. There are a few more things we need to set up before we actually skin our mesh to our rig. The first is as I move this, you can see how the knee twists and bends. We'll fix that with the pole target. I can press A, Pose, Clear Transforms All. That'll put everything back to the beginning. First, let's go ahead and fix the pole target. If I select this bone right here, then under the bone constraints on the far right, I can use this eyedropper under pole target and select this bone. Then I can select one more time this bone and it'll be that as the pole target. But as you can see, it rotates the foot all the way around. You can change the pole angle, but what this does is limits your ability to have the pole angle go fully in either direction when animating. So I'm gonna put that back to zero. And if I click on the armature, the little green one right here, and then go under viewport display, and if I select axes, we can see these X, Y, and Z axes on the inverse kinematic rig. Notice that the X axis points straight towards the pole target. This is the expected behavior. But if we switch to edit mode, Notice that the x-axis is not pointed towards the pole target. We need to fix this in edit mode rather than changing the pole target angle. In order to do this, in edit mode, select the bone, and then under roll, we can roll the bone until it is pointed the right direction. Generally, this will be 90 or negative 90, depending on how you set up your armature. I can also select this one and type in 90. Notice that the x-axis is pointed towards the pole target. If I go back to pose mode, now everything is correct. But there's a couple other things. If I select this bone here and I press R, notice that the foot doesn't move. We can fix that by having this location be copied from this bone and then parented to the controller. First, let's go to edit mode, select this bone, press Option or Alt P, clear the parent, and then select this bone, Control or Command P, and parent and keep offset. We can do the same thing with this bone. We can press Shift, select this bone, Command P, parent, keep offset. Now, if we go back into pose mode, we notice that this now has the rotation, but it's not in the right position. In order to have this in the right position, we need to add a constraint. So select this bone, then under Bone Constraints, click Add Bone Constraint, and we want to copy the location of this bone right here, the shin bone, and then 
select one more time on the bone and it'll go up to the top of the shin bone by the knee, but that's fine. Over in the copy location constraint, just change the head tail to one. And now this will rotate and it stays in position. And what's great is it doesn't leave the foot. If you just parent it to this controller bone, when you drag it down, it will move with it. So this is working great. And our pole target is working. If I press G here, I can grab the pole target and then move it from side to side. So that is all working as expected. The last thing to do is to bind the skin to our rig. So let's go to object mode. First, select the mesh, then select the armature, then go to object, then under object, select parent armature deform with automatic weights. Now the armature will automatically deform the mesh. If I go to pose mode and I select my controller bone, I can press G and then my armature moves. Then if I move my control bone, I can have the mesh move like this, and this will also rotate the foot as well. And then I can also rotate in the Z direction to rotate the whole leg like that. Hopefully this allows you to set up an armature very quickly with inverse kinematics and blender. Happy 3D modeling.